All right, that's a wrap. Everything that we've announced today is available for you use right now. Here's a recap. Figma has just released the new 2022 update and whew, it's amazing. Let's see the new changes. So first of all, as I'm recording this video, Figma had the opening keynote announcing all the new features and changes. I should point out they also made big changes to component properties. I'm still not sure how it works, but hopefully we get more information later on. Okay, so right off the bat, let's start with dark mode. In the past, what I really like about Figma, and I also talked about it in this video where I compare Figma to Adobe XD, is that even though they didn't have a dedicated dark mode interface, you could always click on the background and change the canvas color. But the left and the right panels always had light color. Not anymore, my friends. Now we get a full dark mode interface. Just click on Figma, preference, theme, and you can change it to light, dark, or system theme. I love it, it looks great, and for someone who spends eight, nine, 10 hours a day staring at the screen, it's really great for my eyes to have both options. Next, we have a big change in the stroke department. This is really cool. Figma gave us the option for individual strokes. So let's say I create a rectangle. I'll add a stroke. Let's change it to white color and make it bigger so you'll see better. You can see we have a new button right here, which is called strokes per side. And if you click on that, you can actually decide if you want to add individual strokes from the top, bottom, left, right. And you can actually fully customize each and every one of them if you like mind-blowing. Another major update is auto layout. Now, I like to do a full tutorial on Figma's auto layout. I know you want it. I know you need it. Don't worry, it's coming. But for those of you that are already familiar with auto layout, in this update, we have major improvements like canvas control, absolute positioning, and negative overlap. So for example, if I take these avatars right here and select them all, I'll hit Shift A or click on this plus icon here. And you can see we have our new on-screen controls. And we can also create negative spacing. So if for some reason I like to stock them on top of each other, now we can easily do that. Another great feature in auto layout is absolute positioning. Let's take this thumbnail here, for example, and let's say I like to add a title on top of it. So if I select them both and add auto layout, you can see it's automatically adding spacing margin for my title according to the thumbnail. And I can control where to position my title. It can only stick to the top, down, left or right of the thumbnail. But now, check this out. I can select the title and click on this icon, Absolute Position. And I can actually position my title anywhere I like inside my auto layout frame. That is too good, my friends. Mmm, too good. Up next, we have a new animation option in the prototype tab named Spring Animation. Let's say I like to animate these avatars to slide left when opening the application. So I'll duplicate this frame and drag the avatars in the first frame outside. I'll go to the prototype tab, drag the plus icon from the first frame to the second frame. In the interaction details, I'll select after delay. Let's leave it on 800 milliseconds. Choose auto animate. And you can see we have a few spring animation options like gentle, quick, bouncy, and so on and so on. If you hover with the mouse, you can see a preview of each animation, and of course, we can also fully customize it. For our example, let's choose quick, hit play, and we have our new spring animation. Last feature I like to cover is the Spotlight Me. So let's say you're working in a team on the same project, and you like to present something on the screen and have everybody follow along. You can hover on your profile, click on Spotlight Me, and the other team members will be able to follow your point of view and presentation. Final thoughts. So for me, I think those are great updates and Figma got even better. I'm very excited to start and work around these new features. Let me know what you think in the comments, which update you like the most. Don't forget to follow my design work on Instagram. Thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Man, I am so pumped about this update. Mm. By the way, go watch my latest video on how I redesigned the Disney Plus application, link down below.